Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duos Arm here today, back with another Black Desert video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the most recent patch that came to Black Desert on December 13th of 2023, going over all of the events, as well as major changes that came with the patch, and that way you don't miss a thing. This week's patch brings a ton of events in preparation for our Calpheon Ball coming up in a couple of days here. So yeah, quickly before we get into it, if you're new to the channel, do Black Desert, or you've been watching videos on the channel and still have not subscribed yet, please consider it. Helps you grow my channel, you stay up to date with new content, and we both win, and without further ado, let's get into it and start off with the events like we do every single week. And our first event is going to be login rewards for new and returning players. So if you are brand new to Black Desert, which uh, you might be considering there's a sale on the game, we have bonus login rewards for you. And if you're returning to the game after having been away for at least 30 days, you're going to receive these same bonus rewards as well, or actually a different set of bonus rewards, but more bonus rewards again for logging back into the game. So next up, we have a series of buffs available in the game running through January 1st. So we have a little over two weeks here of buffs that you can pick up. These can be viewed in game by hovering over this EXP icon in the top corner here. You'll see all the EXP boosts active right now. So pretty much insane ones, the biggest life skill buffs, as well as the biggest combat buffs they ever give away. 1000% combat EXP, 100% life EXP. If you're trying to power level your character or level up any of your life skills, this is the best time of year to do it. These buffs don't come around too often at this level, so definitely want to take advantage of those. Again, running through January 1st. There's also 100% drop rate coming along with that too, so yeah, pretty freaking cool. Next up, we have a series of login rewards that we're going to pick up here. So, first one, in game, if you head over to the daily special icon in the top right corner of your screen, you'll see a bunch of cool stuff including the Origins of Dark Hunger, which lets you to bump a fail stack a little bit further. We also have RNG boxes, crowd stones, and just, yeah, in general, a lot of cool stuff that you definitely want to pick up. So, logging in will get you that. Next, Challenges menu here for logging in for several minutes here. And when I say several, I mean 30 and 60 minutes, so running from December 14th through December 23rd, you're going to receive bonus login rewards. These can be claimed in the Challenge menu, which is the Y key on the keyboard, and uh, yeah, you'll see the different items that you can pick up down in here. They're pretty cool. We get a bunch of loyalties for 30 minutes, as well as some crown stones, so nice stuff to pick up there. And for one hour, even more loyalties, which are, again, pretty fantastic. We then have a new code that you can enter into the game. Uh, you can just hit this copy button right here, or copy it from the description down below. This code is going to give you a bunch of free stuff, including a Christmas tree for your manor, so if you wanted to decorate your house with that. Um, In-game, press the escape key on the keyboard, head over to the Adventure Support tab, Redeem Coupon Code, and in here, you can go ahead and paste that code down in there. You'll get this item in your B menu, which is your mailbox inbox, and you will be able to uh, claim these different items in here. They expire on December 27th, so if you're going away for a, uh, the holidays here, make sure to claim them, like I am, because I uh, will be gone for the next couple of weeks here from, uh, from whatever, so I'm going to claim them all right now. Next up, we have a loyalty shop, so with all those bonus loyalties, you'll be able to buy some bonus items. To get to this, press the escape key on the keyboard, click on the Pearl Shop tab up here, click on Loyalties, and you'll see all these different loyalty items that you can pick up here. So again, we're getting bonus loyalties for logging in every single day. You can also now spend those on different things. Stella Spirit Stones are nice if you're a life skiller. They don't come out too, too often. Um, they give you a bonus 100 life skill mastery, and you can activate that and then swap back over to a Khan's Heart for a total of 125 bonus mastery. So pretty slick if you're trying to push uh, tiers. So whenever these come up, I always recommend buying them for life skillers. But a bunch of cool stuff in there. We got Books of Old Moon, Blessing of Camus Sylvia, Cron Stones, tons of stuff in there if you want to pick them up. Now the next event requires you to head over to Velia, which is why this video is starting in Velia, and find the NPC Celis. The NPC Celis is the furniture vendor located right here in the city of Velia. So we're in Velia right here, bottom right side of Velia, furniture vendor Celis. Interact with them, pick up the quest tab, event Cheap's Gift, pick it up, accept it, and complete the quest. This is going to give you a chair, event sturdy chair. Then the second portion of this event is to sit in the chair and take screenshots of your character and upload them to the community forum event page to be entered into a chance to win goodie bag type deal here. So um, yeah, uh, this is all in preparation of the Calpheon Ball. So yeah, December 15th and 16th, depending on your region, and definitely something to look forward to. Now for the next event, you're going to need to head over to Heidel, and for those who don't know where Heidel is, just south of the valley where we just were, Heidel, and we're going to be talking to the NPC, Lara. Lara is located right here near the bottom of the town, you can kind of see where we're at here. And right with them, click on the quest tab, we should have a series of event boxes. The one we are specifically looking for is warming the body and soul. Accept that quest line, then go to her shop by clicking on the shop tab, and you're looking for some sweaters. You're going to need to buy 10 of these, so just go ahead and buy... 10 of them. Then click on the chat tab and hand over the 10 sweaters. This will give you some contribution points and you can feel better about yourself. 
Why would you do this? Well, because it's part of a donation goal set forth by the Pearl Abyss team here, and uh, when they complete their donation goal, they're going to donate to uh, various charities and all that good stuff. So, um, you know, we do, uh, we do, we do like doing that. Plus, you get the permanent title, heartwarming. So, we're all about titles in this game, baby. But anyway, yeah, little charity type event thing that you can do for a million silver. So, why not? Be nice. We then get into two final little events here. So, first one is you can be entered in for a chance to win a free chair themed around the Black Desert World. So yeah, just enter the uh, enter the raffle here and uh, participate in the various things and, you know, you get a chance for it. I'll link this down below for anybody who wants to enter and win the chair. It actually looks pretty slick, so. The final one is that the Black Desert game is on sale right now, 90% off for the base game, um, which is always what I recommend to anybody who says, what version should I buy? Base game is definitely the way to go. However, if you want to upgrade for any of the bonus items that are contained within the various upgraded packages, um, those are all off by 50% as well. So if you're thinking of getting into Black Desert, it's only a dollar right now, or 99 cents if you buy it on Steam. Definitely a great opportunity to get into it, or if you've been trying to convince your friends to play or anything like that. With that out of the way, that is the extent of all of the events, so we can now move on into the patch notes themselves, and this week's patch it doesn't have a ton of stuff in it, uh, much more focused on the events, and again, we have the Calpheon Ball coming in a few days, which is the roadmap for basically the entirety of 2024, or a good portion of 2024. Um, they, they lay those out now, so... Definitely something you want to tune into this weekend so you can see what's coming up. Uh, but again, this is this week's patch and what we have to cover here. First things first, we have some changes to classes. So the speed debuff has been capped or had its cap changed and how it applies. So if you're into PvP, something you might want to look into. Um, various classes got some scaling changes, not as many as the uh, previous patches that have come through. But uh, big ones around Kunoichi getting some scaling changes, as well as the Nova getting some scaling changes. So pretty straightforward on that side right there. A new function to repair your crystals, or restore your crystals, rather, uh, after death has been added to the game, so you can restore crystals. Event Origins of Dark Hunger have had their expiration dates removed. If you're looking for specifically guild items, they now have a guild tag in front of them to help you find them when you use the Control F function in game. The Ulukita Monster Zones have been uh, dropped a little bit to make them a little bit easier and more accessible to everybody. Same thing for Crypt of Wrathing Thoughts. They've also been made a little bit easier, so you can uh, partake in those with their CCs being reduced. Oldlands Valley for the Ducky version got some uh, changes to it as well, so if you grind there, something to keep track of. Some of the Black Shrine bosses had some changes as well done to them. Dark Rifts will now have a spawn the maximum duration of 7 days, or appearance of 7 days, so make it a little bit more frequent on those picking up. New UI feature was added to open all sorts of boxes at once. The UI for saving various cities has been moved to the bottom center of your map here, so if you open up a map with the M key on the keyboard, uh, click on this World Map Snapshots button, you can jump to the various cities that you have saved inside of this uh, system here kind of sets you up there and if you don't know how to use this function if you go to any location on the map that you want to save if you head over to that spot hold down the alt key and then hit the corresponding number on your keyboard um, it'll save that location so if i press 4 it takes me back over to land of morning light press 5 it takes me back to that bridge that i just saved right there under spot number five so cool little feature in the system information they have a mitigated the issue where the game occasionally closes so we'll see if, uh, if that helps people with the random crashes um, that they have like going in and out of the uh, Magnus region or things like that uh, or AFK fishing or anything like that maybe maybe something got fixed there we'll see and then otherwise nothing else too crazy with this patch so again a lot of like big time event type stuff going on buffs exp buffs all that sort of stuff so great time to take advantage of grinding activities life skilling activities, tons of cool stuff, and again, Calpheon Ball this weekend. So like I said in last week's patch video, I'll be taking a little bit of a break here from the YouTube world. I'll be coming back after the new year, so you can uh, look forward to seeing me then. So I won't be covering it in this week's patch, so I do apologize in this week's big uh, big news. So, um, But it's definitely be exciting, and I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that have things to say about it. Maybe I'll do some posts on the YouTube uh, social function. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you have a happy holiday season, since I will be away. Um, really do do hope you do enjoy your time with your families or anything that you happen to do during that and as always I really look forward to seeing you at the next YouTube video after the new year the next twitch live stream or wherever I happen to see you Peace.